everyone this is casual chris and this is an exciting day i have an app that i never thought i'd actually see on an ipad brought to you by the good folks at audio kit they sent me a tuner that's right a tuner for your phone for your ipad for your production that's crazy <laughs> There's not a tuner like this. So this is amazing. Um, okay, so it's simple, um, super easy. The microphone is already picking up from my voice. Um, microphone, uh, I mean, it's doing its job. I don't really need to change it, but I have a, a microphone that's that plugs right into my iPhone or anything that's same, you know, same plug, but, um, I'm using it for this video, for good quality on this video. So uh, there's that. So with these, um, I'm just talking. And as you can see on the screen here, it is automatically tuning my voice already. So if you have a good mic, if you have a good mic like I do, um, it's going to work. It's going to work really well. Simple to use. I mean, really... Primarily, you'd be in the major or minor settings here. Got your keys here. Both super easy to use. Got your amount. Got your speed. So, um, that's what I love about this, man. I mean, tuners aren't too complex. I've seen... Actually, I'll take that back. I've seen some really complex tuners in my life. And... Um, you know, simple is easy. The way the world is working, it, the way the world is, is trending, only making things easier so we can create. There's no longer that nostalgia of of something being so difficult or, you know, now it's just create. Create what's in here. Let it go. Um, and this does a good job of letting it go. So this app is a standalone this is the standalone version i'm gonna pop up how i'd use it so i'd go into beatmaker 3. Um, i already have it set up two different options of what i'd be doing but the first option that you could do um, is you can tell it hey i don't want it to record my voice i have a recording already and i just want you to tune that recording so all you would be doing is you would be going to your tracks. You'd be adding a new audio file, a new audio track, excuse me. And then you just drag, drop your audio file. Now the plugin is going to be in your audio effects. Don't look for it. Which is what I ultimately used on this. I used Please. my tuner for ozone, but my goodness, this is. Please. Go. Sounds way Aqua. better. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Um, Please. yeah, this, this is actually the first time I actually Go. fired it up to use this kind of review and me using it for the first time. Please. This thing is crazy. It's hitting my. Go. It's doing Aqua. a really good job. Please. Let me Go. Without it, how horrible my voice is! How horrible! I'm sorry, guys. Go, aqua. Hair horrible. Now this is with it. Please, go. Man, wow, folks. This is an instant buy. 
I've heard three ninety nine. We'll see the official price tag. Um, wow, I am impressed. I am highly impressed um, by the job that is. I don't even have to really do anything. Uh, I don't have to do the amount or speed. When I was doing my other um, tuner, my um, what is it? My uh, my eyes. I know I'm killing isotope right now, but my isotope tuner that I use, my nectar tuner that I use, um, that I used on this for this vocal, I did not do as good of a job as just, as this just did, which is kind of mind blowing to think about it. And there was just some settings in there that there's just more knobs and like, I don't know, man, less is more. This, this is just, you know, the amount and speed. Let's check out what the amount is doing on here. I mean, wow, this is doing what a tuner should do, what my tuner what my $149 tuner on my computer should do flawlessly. This is doing what that should do flawlessly. That's amazing. That's that's a great product. I'm not really even surprised at this point. Audio Kit is one of those companies that everything they make has been quality. Every single app. If If you ask me, Hey, I want to get started up in iOS production. What should I do? I, I would point you to go get Audio Kit. If you said I don't have money, I'd say go get Audio Kit Synth 1. If you say, hey, I have money, I'd say go buy all of Audio Kit stuff. You'll have a folk, you'll have a tuner, you'll have a FM player, you'll have a digital D1. You'll have a free app that's open source and anybody's everybody's throwing in sounds to that. You'll have everything you need. You'll have um, an 808. <laughs> You'll have everything you need. So, um, wow, this is a big day for iOS. We haven't had a tuner. We haven't had a good tuner. Um, even the tuner that I was recommending to other people, it was still more of a vocal tuner or a vocal synth, meaning you still had to hit chords for it to sound... Nah, uh, no, that's not entirely true. It... it it, it you didn't have to hit chords but it still get it still peaked the highs on that thing was still it got out of control on the highs so you would have to go in with a deesser and really really put the hammer to to the the vocal to fix it to make it sound you know acceptable this right here just did it I mean, does the high sound like it's going crazy? It doesn't sound like the highs are are going crazy at all. It sounds like it's all controlled. That's that's what you need. I mean, you that's what you need. <laughs> I mean, that you could take this and and go to an engineer and be like, "Hey." And he'll be like, "All right, I got you." If I took that other stuff to an engineer, he'd be like, Phew. "All right, I got you, dude." But he would seriously question the source at which I recorded, you know, my vocals. So again, a good mic, a good iOS mic, a good mic that plugs directly into your iPad will really take this to the next level. Um, this recording was actually recorded with this mic. So um, there's that. So it is there. But um, and yeah, that's a horrible sound of me raw. But hey, it worked so uh again this is an awesome app really easy to use um if you want to go ahead and record into it i want to show you that real quick um because that's another option that you can do if you want to do it so you would go up to your audio and you would just make sure that the record button is on all you would have to do is just double click at the top that's making sure your record button is on um hit the record and then oh also when you go into your audio file there's something else oh yeah so your audio input so when you hold that button down you go over to your audio input you got to tell it what 
hard, you got to tell it what microphone to turn on. You can use your external mic or you can use your internal mic, your iPad mic, or you can go in and if you have this mic connected, it'll, it'll read this mic. But we're just going with the iPad mic for now. It's not going to be a good recording um, because, you know, it's just, it's picking up everything. So, uh, but here you go. So now all I do is have to hit record. I could, um, I could already throw it on there if I really want to. So there's at least that going on. And then... Hey everyone, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I don't know. One thing about recording audio is you're not able to hear the audio in your headphones anywhere. So when you're recording audio, it's almost like it's not happening. So uh, that's one thing uh, to be aware of when you're recording audio. But when you see you're done, it, it you will see the audio file. So. It tripped me out when I first tried to record and I was like, is it getting anything? It's doing such a good job. That's crazy. What a week. Um, so there you go. That's that's all you would do to record into this thing if you want to record straight into your 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 DAW. Doesn't sound like it's gonna do it um live meaning it's not going to play back live just because that's just in the program but it's doing its job and it's doing a very good job at it 399 to get a, a tuner is just ridiculous at this point i yeah it's going to be very hard for computers to justify their steep price tags um when hardware like this when hardware like this, quality hardware like this comes out, that sounds better and is easier to use, less knobs. I mean, yeah, this this is gonna be this is gonna be good. This is gonna do good things for my for my production, um, and I think it's gonna do good things for your production. So again, the only audio, the only tuner on the market that is amazing and works like this uh, you get your t-pain voice if you need it um, and it's amazing i like it so thank you once again for tuning into this tutorial again a special thank you to audio kit for giving me or sending me one of the first copies to check out um really impressed um is there anything that i would um i, I would maybe add some kind of instructions because although i am kind of well versed in this uh, i know there's going to be beginners who are going to look at this and be like where do i begin can i just use it you know so just a just a information button at the top right corner would probably help people out um, probably stop you from getting a lot of emails but uh, other than that that's good. I like it. Love it. Love it. You did it again. You did it again, Matt. So thank you once again for tuning in, guys. Hope you enjoy this. It's a really cool product that you guys will love for your uh, iOS production, man. Put some vocals in there. Put some. Put your vocals in there. And uh, hey, stop looking for rappers. Hey, who knows? All right. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Please. I got it on my head right now. is what I ultimately used on this. I used Please. my tuner for ozone, but my goodness, this is... Please. Go. Sounds way Aqua. better. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Um, Please. yeah, this, this is actually the first time I actually Go. fired it up to use this kind of review and Go. me using it for the first time. Please. This thing is crazy. It's hitting my... Go. It's doing Aqua. a really good job. Please. Let me... Without it. 
<laughs> how horrible my voice is. How horrible. I'm sorry, guys. Go. Aqua. Hair horrible. Now this is with it. <laughs> Man, wow, folks! This is an instant buy. I've heard three ninety nine. We'll see the official price tag. Um, wow, I am impressed. I am highly impressed um, by the job that is. I don't even have to really do anything. Uh, I don't have to do the amount or speed. When I was doing my other um, tuner, my um, what is it? My uh, my eyes. I know I'm killing isotope right now, but my isotope tuner that I use, my nectar tuner that I use, um, that I used on this for this vocal, I uh, did not do as good of a job as just, as this just did, which is kind of mind blowing to think about it. And there was just some settings in there that there's just more knobs and like. I don't know, man. Less is more. This this is just, you know, the amount and speed. Let's check out what the amount is doing on here. I mean, wow. This is doing what a tuner should do. What my tuner, what my $149 tuner on my computer should do flawlessly this is doing what that should do flawlessly that's amazing that's that's a great product i'm not really even surprised at this point audio kit is one of those companies that everything they make has been quality every single app if if you ask me hey i want to get started up an ios production what should i do i, I would point you to go get audio kit if you said I don't have money, I'd say go get Audio Kit Synth One. If you say hey, I have money, I say go buy all of Audio Kit stuff. You'll have a folk, you'll have a tuner, you'll have a FM player, you'll have a digital D one, you'll have a free app that's open source, and anybody's everybody's throwing in sounds to that. You'll have everything you need. You'll have um, an eight oh eight. Like you'll have everything you need. So. Um, wow, this is a big day for iOS. We haven't had a tuner. We haven't had a good tuner. Um, even the tuner that I was recommending to other people, it was still more of a vocal tuner or a vocal synth, meaning you still had to hit chords for it to sound. No, uh, no, that's not entirely true. It, 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 you didn't have to hit chords, but it still get, it still peaked. The highs on that thing was still. It got out of control on the highs, so you would have to go in with a de-esser and really, really put the hammer to to the the vocal to fix it to make it sound, you know, acceptable. This right here just did it. I mean, does the high sound like it's going crazy? It doesn't sound like the highs are are going crazy at all sounds like it's all controlled that's that's what you need i mean you that's what you need <laughs> i mean that you could take this and and go to an engineer and be like hey and he'll be like all right i got you if i took that other stuff to an engineer he'd be like all right i got you dude but he would seriously question the source at which i recorded you know my vocals so again a good mic a good ios mic a good mic that plugs directly into your ipad will really take this to the next level um this recording was actually recorded with this mic so um there's that so it is there but um and yeah that's a horrible sound of me raw but hey it worked so uh again this is an awesome app really easy to use um, if you want to go ahead and record into it, I want to show you that real quick um, because that's another option that you can do if you want to do it. So you would go up to your audio and you would just make sure that the record button is on. All you would have to do is just double click at the top. That's making sure your record button is on. Um, hit the record and then 
Oh, also, when you go into your audio file, there's something else. Oh, yeah. So your audio input. So when you hold that button down, you go over to your audio input. You got to tell it what hard, you got to tell it what microphone to turn on. You can use your external mic or you can use your internal mic, your iPad mic, or you can go in and if you have this mic connected, it'll, it'll read this mic, but we're just going with the iPad mic for now. It's not going to be a good recording um, because, you know, it's just, it's picking up everything. So, uh, but here you go. So now all I do is have to hit record. I could, um, I could already throw it on there if I really want to. So there's at least that going on. And then... Hey everyone, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I don't know. One thing about recording audio is you're not able to hear the audio in your headphones anywhere. So when you're recording audio, it's almost like it's not happening. So uh, that's one thing uh, to be aware of when you're recording audio. But when you see you're done, it, it you'll see the audio file. So. It tripped me out when I first tried to record and I was like, is it getting anything? It's doing such a good job. That's crazy. What a week. Um, so there you go. That's that's all you would do to record into this thing if you want to record straight into your 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 DAW. Doesn't sound like it's gonna do it um live meaning it's not going to play back live just because that's just in the program but it's doing its job and it's doing a very good job at it 399 to get it a tuner is just ridiculous at this point i yeah it's going to be very hard for computers to justify their steep price tags um when hardware like this when hardware like this, quality hardware like this comes out, that sounds better and is easier to use, less knobs. I mean, yeah, this this is gonna be this is gonna be good. This is gonna do good things for my for my production, um, and I think it's gonna do good things for your production. So again, the only audio, the only tuner on the market that is amazing and works like this uh you get your t-pain voice if you need it um and it's amazing i like it so thank you once again for tuning into this tutorial again a special thank you to audio kit for giving me or sending me one of the first copies to check out um really impressed um is there anything that i would um I, I would maybe add some kind of instructions because although I am kind of well versed in this, uh, I know there's going to be beginners who are going to look at this and be like, where do I begin? Can I just use it? You know, so just a just a information button at the top right corner would probably help people out, um, probably stop you from getting a lot of emails. But uh, other than that. That's good. I like it. Love it. Love it. You did it again. You did it again, Matt. So thank you once again for tuning in, guys. Hope you enjoy this. It's a really cool product that you guys will love for your uh, iOS production, man. Put some vocals in there. Put some. Put your vocals in there. And uh, hey, stop looking for rappers. Hey, who knows? All right. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Have a good